was the first part of our two-part series shedding light on the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force in our area. The force tracks and arrests the people who really don't want to get caught. Well, tonight, Ellie Tui takes us to the front lines of that local task force. When we get down to the block, he's wanted for drug trafficking, so, you know, with drugs, there's guns. Long before your morning coffee, the U.S. Marshal Fugitive Task Force is at work. It's not 9 to 5. It's uh, 6 in the morning till 6 at night. It's 3 o'clock in the morning till... Six in the afternoon, it all depends on what our mission is. Rochester Police Officer Paul Dondorfer is one of more than a dozen officers from different agencies assigned to the force. Like most mornings, he's being briefed on the arrests ahead. I have a game of cat and mouse, and it's it's satisfying at the end to, to be able to come up with, with what you're looking for. Here, they're headed to Penfield for several teens who allegedly plotted to attack someone in the Wegmans parking lot on Route 441. Moments later, the 19-year-old suspect is taken away in handcuffs. Their intel proved right. Cases like the one in Penfield are relatively rare. Instead, the task force mainly focuses here in Rochester. In fact, there are thousands of arrest warrants here in the city on any given day. The Rochester Police Department relies heavily on the marshals to catch bad guys because it doesn't have a unit devoted to fugitive warrants. We don't have the resources to, to have a full-time warrant squad. Um, you know, so we, we rely on the marshals and, and our guys on the task force to, to help us out. In 2014, the task force says it made 256 arrests in the city. I'm happy. I'm happy they're here because you know what? There's a lot of problems on these streets that, you know, especially after 6 o'clock in the evening when the sun goes down. The task force concentrates on violent felony warrants. They can be anything from weapons possession to homicide. Uh, you're going to go in front of a judge? We tagged along as they captured a suspect living in Rochester who'd been wanted for a decade in Florida for narcotics. You know, he did a good job evading police until today. And according to members of this force, that's what it's all about. When you get your guy, everybody's safe, no one got hurt, it always goes the way it should have gone. It's always successful when that happens. Allie Tui, News 8. All members of the force are assigned to it for three years and then they move on. We're told there's a long list of applicants vying to get on that force each year. Well,